East Bay is a thriving community and great place to live and work. It's got the amenities, the innovation, and the workforce that are really helping bring businesses in so that our community can continue to grow and thrive. Well, I would argue that innovation has always been in the East Bay, and I think it's part of our DNA and who we are. Um, there's such a pervasive culture of innovation, um, of new technology ideas, and trying to turn those ideas into real companies and real products. Caribou is a genome editing company. We have a technology where we can go inside of cells and precisely change DNA sequences. We partner with other companies to help them use this to make better products. Everything from basic research to agriculture to industrial biosciences and even therapeutics. We provide wastewater services, recycled water services, household hazardous waste uh, collection facility, and we serve Antioch, Pittsburgh, and Bay Point, a population of about 200,000. So what we do, which is innovative, is we train to put refugees and the ex-offenders, a re-entry population, on a path to self-sufficiency. We manufacture what's called flexible packaging, mainly for the produce industry. So if you go to the store, for instance, and buy one of those pre-made salads, uh, we've made the plastic, uh, done the printing, and then we send it out to our customers who then fill it uh, with the salad. Our restaurant, which we launched today, is the world's first produce-only restaurant. We serve only 100% organic food, and we're on a mission to nourish the earth. We're really passionate about revolutionizing the way companies market and sell. So we save companies hundreds of millions of dollars every year through commission payments, and we help them earn hundreds of millions of dollars of extra revenue through bigger, faster quotes. So we help get customers from lead to money much faster. And Motive Power Systems frees trucks and buses from fossil fuel by making them run on electricity. And we've done this with school bus builders and shuttle bus builders and delivery truck builders and even garbage truck builders. We are a battery materials uh, startup. Our technology is all about making batteries last longer, both for consumer electronics and for electric vehicles. It's how do we create a regional strategy around economic development? And this is where EDA really shines. When you think about who sits around the table, it's public and private leadership, labor is represented, our educational institutions, and I would argue the backbone of the East Bay or nonprofit sector is there as well. All of these leaders are coming together, not looking at key decisions in our own silos and making decisions in a vacuum, but really doing what's best for the region. This is where EDA shines, and this is the gift of who they are as an institution. Chevron has long supported education and economic development here in the East Bay and we're incredibly proud to partner with the East Bay EDA to help inform us and to encourage others to come together as we invest in the opportunity and the innovation that's taking place all around us in the East Bay. There certainly is an understanding at the government level, I think, of what it takes uh, to be a successful business, successful manufacturer. And I think you find that in the East Bay, unlike really any other place in the Bay Area. I think what the East Bay is, is really good at and positioned very well for is actually taking the latest and greatest innovative technologies and figuring out how to bring them to the actual commercial success. There's just a tremendous drive and acceptance for big ideas and taking that big risky next step. Dublin is a fantastic place for talent. There's lots of high energy, the facilities, the infrastructure, the community as well is just first class. Uh, we think it matches anything that's around the Bay Area and we just think it's a perfect spot and really a, a growing mecca for tech companies. The environment here is so creative and adaptive I'm not sure we'd be able to do this somewhere else. You have this very unique, creative food environment, and this is the capital of the world for foodies. I don't know what it is, but there's nothing like Oakland. There's so many cultures, and there's so much conflict. It just creates this primordial stew of art and experience and ideas, and it's just a magical place to be. The East Bay workforce continues to, to grow and, and develop more manufacturing expertise, and we see our supply base there in the East Bay growing. We, you know, we thought that it would be harder to recruit in, in the East Bay, but it's actually turned out to be, to be easier. We have access to, to a, a much broader work force there and and uh, you know and our manufacturing team uh, wouldn't have it any other way there's really no place else that they would want to be. There are so many startups here they come to us they partner with us and because of this creative adaptive environment I see so many businesses springing up. Um, there's a really tremendous churn of 
baby companies getting started, moving into incubators, filling the incubators, incubators overflowing with companies that are starting to graduate. There's a really great ecosystem all the way up to some of the larger companies who have a footprint here in the East Bay as well. We're part of that trend with a lot more hardware, hard technologies. We're doing science and engineering at the same time. And so I think the East Bay is unique in that it's not one dimensional and you can have sort of the space to do that. We need new ideas, we need new technology, we need students, we need young minds that are gonna figure this out for us. And this is the perfect place to do it in the East Bay.